Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Thank you, Hakeem Jeffries. Uh, Chris, let's just start right away. Who okay. said uh, you have every right to be outraged today and angry and never watch CNN again? But uh, do you think staying in your silo and only listening to people you agree with is going to make that person go away? Who said that? Uh, Betty Rubble. No, that was uh, Anderson Cooper. Who said, hey, Cooper, my... Who said that? Stephanie Miller. Yes, yes, that's correct. Got yes. one right. Yes. <laughs> that was fantastic. I don't know how you knew that. It indeed Sounds like is. You. Stephanie well, Miller. because you yes. said it right in front of them. Yeah. Yes. Live. Yes. Indeed. Oh my God. Oh my okay. Yes. God. Thanks. Thanks for the uh, lecture, Anderson. Wow. 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 Um. By the way, who said there are ways to cover Donald Trump? In fact, there are ways to interview him that don't involve a live platform with hundreds of his whooping, cheering super fans re- ritualistically humiliating your host and your network. Who said that? Ah, uh, great babe. No. Chris Hayes, with excellent voice. Can I just say, Glenn Kirshner cannot get here fast enough this morning. Because all I would say is, uh, here's the good news. Here's could be the silver lining from this show on CNN the other night. Uh, NBC News tweets, former President Trump's lawyers told Congress that classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago home got there by accident. But when questioned about the issue at a CNN town hall, Trump said he had every right to take them from the White House. Uh, Our friend Joyce Vance said, telling inconsistent stories is a real problem for a criminal defendant. It is only a matter of time. So TikTok, mother I think is today's theme. So wait, are you saying thank you to Caitlin? I think because everyone listens to Stephanie Miller. We know E. Jean Carroll does. Hi, E. Jean. We love you so much. She retweets us and likes stuff all the time. She is thinking of, what did I say yesterday? She should sue him again. He went back on CNN and defamed her again a day after being found guilty of defaming her. It's... Wait, if yes. this is the evidence they used yes. to take Donald Trump down, are you going to thank Caitlin Collins and CNN for doing yes, that? Yes, I will send a giant, I will send a, a books from the books, our fabulous sponsor. This, this facilitates him going to prison. Oh, also, it was a ratings dud. Ha ha. Ha ha. Neener. CNN had 3.1 million viewers last night during the Trump town hall. This is well below his 2016 and even 2020 viewers. In comparison, President Joe Biden and his ABC town hall had 13.9 million viewers in 2020. Um, they were back into last place again last night. Like, is this really worth it? Like, it is not staying in your silo to not to think you should not give a platform to a fascist, insurrectionist, uh, uh, sexual abuser, on and on. I can't even think of all the descriptors. You get my point. Bradley Whitford, our good friend, said, this is a Trumpian level of delusion, CNN. You chose journalistic malpractice for the sake of ratings. We don't need a civics lecture, lecture from you. You have no credibility. What? Why is it so quiet in here this morning? What's happening? God, we're listening to you. Yes. Something, something happened. That I, no, we're listening no, to you. Oh, no. okay. I knew you were loaded for Barry. You picked yes. half a Twitter this yes. morning. Yes, and also, of course, I picked one of my vintage sexy liberal shirts. Why? Because... Sexy liberal musical because John Fiegel sang and Fridays with Frangela. That's true. And tickets are flying out the window for the only the one 2023 show in Los Angeles at the Spot Theater, October 21st. Yes. 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 Sexyliberal.com. Hurry, go, run like the wind. Also, if you're coming into Los Angeles from out of town, we have a great sexy liberal hotel that is right near the Saban Party. Theater for you. Party. Oh, by the way. For information, in- just go to sexyliberal.com yes. slash tour. We're just calling it informally the Sexy Liberal Indictment Tour because who knows how many will be in by October. Yeah. But Glenn Kirshner will join yep. us. Yeah. Uh, super, others. Superstar. Oh, yes. Oh, people know others. We just haven't. We haven't even gotten warmed up yet. And Frangel and I, after the show today, we're going to take a little skip, and we're going to social media that media that to you. We're laughing about it already. Were we laughing about it on email already? Oh yeah, uh, we're I saw the emails. Oh, we love us. We love us so much. We hope you love us too. We will. Uh, we will tweet and you know all the things. Yeah, once it's assembled. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, all right. So, oh, this is just. Fantastic. Has Baby had any comment on being ordered to attend a, a lecture? <laughs> okay, this. On how not to violate evidence disclosure? I love this story. Is he, no, he'll be on Baby Monitor. He won't be in court. His his lawyers have to be in court. He'll be on Baby Monitor. He literally will be on the video Baby Monitor screaming about 
This is fantastic. Trump was ordered by Manhattan Supreme Court judge to submit to a meeting giving him instructions on how to comply with an order Mm -hmm. restricting him from using evidence in his criminal case to attack witnesses. Judge um, uh, Juan Manuel Marchand scheduled the hybrid meeting, former president on a TV screen, baby Mm -hmm. monitor. Yeah. And his lawyers and prosecutors in court to go over the restrictions with Trump and to make clear that he risks being held in contempt if he violates them. The case is continuing in state court, even as lawyers, uh, Trump's lawyers seek to have it moved to federal court. I don't know on what grounds, if there's a chance in hell, but we'll ask Glenn Kirshner in just a few minutes. I have it's just another one of his delay tactics, I assume. Mm -hmm. Is there going to um, be like a quiz like that he paid attention like when you take a driver's test or something? I don't know. And you have to do like online but, traffic school? Yeah. <laughs> oh, please let Noel Kassler be the comedian that he has to. <laughs> have you ever taken an online comedy traffic school? I have not. I it's did awful. I did, li- I did live it? comedy traffic school. It is the worst That's experience surprising. you can. By the way, I'm sorry, but as in my role as a journalist, someone's got to do it. Anderson. Um, we, as we always say, which criming are you talking about, Steph? Oh, thank you for asking. This one is the where he faces 34 charges of falsifying business records related to the hush money payment to a uh, porn star, Tormi, Star McDaniels. Yes. All right, this is going over in my Glenn stack. Okay, so I, I, I'm not sure. I, th- those are the two that pop out at me legally from the town hall, right? Mm. <clears throat> is that he incriminated himself in the documents case and E. Jean Carroll? Yeah. Right. Oh, my God, he went back to, I don't know her, <laughs> he went back to uh, saying, what did she call her, a whack job? Yep. Yeah. He went right back to defaming her. Yep. So, I good for her. Go on. Do it. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. Robbie Kaplan, you got to be like that. You know, she's the, ready. You know that runner that wins the Boston Marathon and then she's already out running in the rain the next morning? That's Robbie Kaplan. Let's go. Congratulations. Are you running out in the rain the next morning? What? Yeah, it's a Nike commercial. Oh, yeah, they're congratulating her on the radio. She's already out the door. Oh, running the next, running the next day. Let's go, Robbie! I, Congratulations, I you did a great job. Get up, Let's go again. I don't watch sports, so I've never seen that commercial. It says commercial. I'm the, they showed that during Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Who said it is not, in fact, CNN's job to make news? It is CNN's job to report the news, to explain the news, to make sense of the news. Providing a stage for a known liar to tell his lies is not journalism. It is a costly act of concession. Who said that? Uh, Chet, you betcha. No. George Conway. Oh. Okay. Where was I? Oh, I'm sorry. That was on the criming stack. Oh. Wow. So many there's, a, stacks there's, a lot, there. there's a lot of Twitter today. Noel Cass, speaking of Noel Kassler, he said, if God forbid Trump becomes POTUS again, last night will have been a key moment in making that happen. Something is deeply rotten at CNN. We do not live in normal times, and profit over morality ethos is a very is very bad for democracy. CNN has abysmal ratings, and this was a stunt. Uh, okay, so yes, thank you. Uh, page three. Oh, here it is. Uh, Tommy. Tweets on uh, Trump Town Hall and slandering E. Jean Carroll again. Yes, she has a case, but note first, this is going right in the Glenn stack. Trump declared he wanted to confront her, but Trump did not dare come to court to speak under oath. He instead used national TV to slander her. This makes it intentional harm. Um, so, yeah, that I think that that goes to uh, uh, legal, any legal case on defamation. So we shall ask Glenn. Uh, Lawrence Tribe wrote a piece for the New York Times. He said Trump's CNN performance was one of a long series of confessions, strongly accelerating special counsel Smith's timeline toward mul- multiple indictments. <laughs> Lots of happy, clappy tweets this morning. Brian Behar uh, tweets, so do all sex offenders get free airtime on CNN or just ones who tried to overthrow the American government? There's that. There's the overthrow of the American government, even if you there aren't many people don't take that he was just that. he was just convicted of sexual assault. Oh no, I'm sure there's some. There's some January sixth though. Okay. What is there something did I is it something I said? Why why is it so deadly quiet well, in we're here? We're listening to you, you're on a roll. Do you yeah, any, you're like wound up. Do you have any thoughts? You you yell any at any thoughts? You, you yell at us for, for mm. interrupting you all the mm. time. So we're okay. like I'll paying just, attention to I'll you just, and like yeah. all this. Okay. And now we get yelled at again. I don't understand. <laughs> we normally have a 
conversation of some sort. Hello, is this on? But you're okay. having a conversation with your Twitter friends right okay. now. Okay, who said Trump is unfit to be president for many reasons? For the good of the country, Republicans must demand he end his presidential campaign immediately and permanently. Who said that? Uh, 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 bigly, bigly. Someone you follow no. on Twitter? No, John Bolton said that. Who can now shut the up forever? And I'm not buying your stupid book. And now, also now a warning. You there are several on? T-shirts now you, a warning that you could buy at stephaniemiller.com. Buy now a warning. Buy I'm not buying your stupid book. You follow him on Twitter? No, I do not. Then why Republicans against that? Trump? I follow them, and he they okay. quoted oh, him. Yeah. If that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, let's. Who said not only do they contradict his legal position, he admits to possession and knowledge of classified documents that he is taking from the White House. Jack Smith will make good use of last night's town hall, and it will help him button up his case. Who said that? Dudley Do Right. No, also George Conway. I have quite a large Glenn stack already. Mm. Oh, and dangers of the '70s uh, because I did say the town hall was like 2016 all over again, but with uh, you know quicksand and. Schools of Piranhas and uh -huh. Bermuda Triangle and also Tarantulas. Yeah. Uh, Timothy says, Steph, you forgot about falling into molten lava. Another 70s trope. Oh. That is true. There was a lot of liquid hot. I don't know. There was just a lot of volcanoes I'm not as blowing. There, I don't really. There wasn't as much lava as there was quicksand. Yeah, not yeah. as much quicksand. Yeah. yeah, although if you were running from molten lava, say, you know, a volcano, Krakatoa. you might end up in quicksand. Right. Yeah. Okay. Krakatoa or something. My God, when lo okay. molten lava hits quicksand, that's messed up. Okay, one last one. Okay. Who said to James Comer, you don't actually have any facts to that point. You've got some circumstantial evidence. And the other thing is, all of those names, the one person who didn't profit, there's no evidence Joe Biden did anything illegally. Who said that? Uh, super Jake, chicken. To James Comer. No, Steve Ducey oh. on Fox News said that to Representative Barney Fife. Saw that. Yes. Who has a sad that yes. his, no little, proof. his press conference didn't get yes. much. No proof at all. Oh, it's fantastic. Not one what iota. Did, oh, we, we, got well, a whole, wait, Ron, wait, we got a whole stack of him. Ron like, Johnson said, well, it's, it's, it's difficult to prove. It's, it's, I, I, we're, you're going to have to infer a lot. <laughs> you don't infer in a court of law. See, like if I were to demand your bank records right now and there was a deposit, I'd be like, oh, well, that's obviously that obviously from was China. for drugs. I'm just going to infer that. Right. You used Venmo. It must be drugs. Right, right. Right. It must be sex trafficking. Prove that it's not. Do we have that? Where I is it? Oh, we, oh, we, it's 17, 18. I went out with a Seven. friend and paid for half a pizza. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, okay. Here is Ron Johnson. Oh, uh, which one? Douche nozzle 17, from Wisconsin. Okay. So where is the quid pro quo? A lot of whistleblowers and more bank documents now showing alleging bar bribery there and, and more. What do you say? What do you see? Well, again, that, that is a difficult thing to prove. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, what we are seeing is just mounting evidence. Senator Grassley and I laid out the vast web of financial uh, foreign entanglements of, of the Bidens in our September 2020 report. Oh, uh, the, the complicit and corrupt media ignored it. Oh. Because oh, I'm sorry. You want us to prove you it. You want us to solve what you you're just throwing like out there? You mean with, like, facts what? or evidence. That you don't have. The, yeah, that's the, what, the well, media that's, doesn't have subpoena power. They have subpoena power. Right. If they could prove it, they well, would. We well, have the bank records. We have the entanglements, yeah. but we can't prove right. Jack. We'll ask, so, uh, Glenn Kirshner about uh, inferring. That's the thing, right? Just can't you just infer in guilt a court of with, law in a yeah. with a total lack of evidence? Sure. Sure. 18. Yeah. Let's face it, uh, the bank records aren't going to show bribe in exchange right. for this right. foreign policy uh, yeah. change. Uh, okay. But that, we know that President Biden obvious. lied to America when he said he never uh, discussed Hunter's overseas business deals. Uh, we know he lied when he said that uh, Hunter never made money off of China. Hunter made millions of dollars off of China. Mm. So we know that Biden has lied Hunter. repeatedly to the American public on this very issue. These things look sleazy. There's all kinds oh, of conflict of interest. Sleazy. We're yeah. going to have to infer an awful lot. Oh, and I see. You just have sleazy. to infer. It this is the infer. new standard of proof in a court of law. You just can infer it. Wink. As long as you say wink. Hey, all. Glenn Kirshner here. Friends, I hope you'll join me on my audio podcast, Justice Matters. We talk about not only the legal issues of the day, but we also talk about the need to reform ethics in our government. Here's one example, the oath of office. You know the one, 
I do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Let's add 22 words to that oath. Quote, and I will promptly report any instances of crime and or corruption by government officials and employees of which I become aware. Friends, our democracy is worth fighting for. Join us in this fight because justice matters. Look for Justice Matters wherever you ordinarily find your podcasts.